Hello, I'm Mish from Trading at the Market. In this video, I will show you how I apply standard deviation to football games. This number has already been calculated for you on the CTM sites for free, so no need to get lost in the maths of it all. I will start off by explaining what it is in simple terms. It's taking the number of goals scored on average by a team and looks at all the time it was above and below that average. If a team scores one goal a game every game, it will have an average of one goal with a deviation of zero, meaning we can expect this trend to continue. This never happens, but it's a simplified example of what standard deviation is. Let me expand on it. If a team scores three goals in half the matches and one goal in the other half of the matches they play, their average goals would be two with a deviation of one. In this example, we expect them to score two goals, give or take one goal, so one or three. Before you think what the point of that is, well, this can be very useful for things like both teams to score and over and under trades. If we know a team scores two goals on average and this only tends to differ by one goal, then we will expect there to be at least one goal by that team. Of course, this is just one data point to use in profiling a game, but a very important one, which is can they score? Let's look at some examples of the rule stats. We will take the example of Racing Farrell v Tenerife. To keep it simple, I will refer to the Racing Farrell as home and Tenerife as away. These teams have played a total of 11 games, so we have some good stats on them. On the screen, you will see the standard deviation from the Sports IQ site. I use this site as my strategy filter is set up on there. The home team have an average goal of 0.64 goals per game for the season. They also have a standard deviation of 0.64. 0.64 subtract 0.64 gives us 0, which is pretty much 0 goals. They have an average of 0.64, which tells us they can score goals, but more often the game goes without a goal. The upper part of this deviation would be 1.28, so they can score a goal and some games will get close to 2, but less often as they get to 0. As the gap between zero goals and the bottom of the SD was zero. 1.28 to two goals is 0.72, which is a larger difference than the low end of the deviation. Looking at the away team, they have an average goal of 0.82, with a deviation of 0.83. This tells us that there is a close chance to a goal on average. The lower part of the deviation is negative 0.01 goals and the upper part is 1.65. This tells us on average there is close to a goal but often they won't score and slightly less often than no goals will be two goals. I would then move across and apply the same analysis to home at home which is the H at H and the away at away which is the A at A. This is just telling us how the away team performs away and the home team at home. It works the same way, it just gives you a different viewpoint based on venue. So, looking at the deviations for both teams, I can't see either team scoring any more than two goals, which means I could trade the 4.5 market. I would not touch both teams to score market, as the data is not convincing enough. I could touch the 0-0, 1-0, nil one and one one markets based on standard deviation alone. I think these teams are evenly matched so could take an option on backing the draw market in a scalp. But this is how I use standard deviation in football trading. If you have any questions drop them in the comments or join our discord. I will be making my filter available to people who want them. Until next time, happy trading.